Before we jump into the assertion, it's undeniably more enticing to figure out what subatomic fuel pedals are. The Huge Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-meter ring of superconducting magnets. In expansion, it's the world's most remarkable and vital molecule smasher. It represents the apex of human accomplishment. Indeed, it's so powerful that it could replicate the exact conditions of the first second on Earth. But could the system designed to open the secret of the universe hold the key to something truly unambiguous? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most renowned research organizations, with 23 member states and countless scientists. It's a place for cooperation and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, yet it is just one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Consider a course not for autos or P, but for subatomic particles in a trial of fitness, tolerance, and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mirrors the energy of the universe just after the Big Bang. The collisions generate temperatures far hotter than the core of the sun. A massive number of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling structures keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The beams in the LHC are designed to collide at four points around the accelerator ring, interacting with four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a specific purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they function as enormous cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also referred to as the God particle, and other anomalies that could provide clues about the universe's fundamental building blocks. By focusing on the microcosm, we gain insights into the universe. However, with each discovery comes another question, and with each answer, new challenges arise. The LHC isn't just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and progress. It represents our technological pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces shaping our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the deeper, existential questions that arise. What are the risks of testing the unknown? Could our quest for knowledge accidentally release forces we have no control over? Within the sacred halls of CERN, where the limits of human knowledge are constantly tested, a discovery has emerged that sends a chill down the spine of even the most supportive researchers. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a voice of expertise in the field of particle physics, recently made a statement that has left the world both fascinated and uneasy. Cox's words resonate with chilling clarity. The purpose of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a scaled-down Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that birthed our universe. The physicist also elaborated on the implications of this point, highlighting the LHC's tremendous potential for making groundbreaking discoveries. This includes its ability to uncover the mysteries of the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter a mysterious substance that makes up a vast portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to witness the very essence of the universe. It's an alluring prospect, but one fraught with risk. The mini Big Bang isn't just a theoretical idea. It's a real phenomenon within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all recreate the conditions of the universe's birth. It's like standing at the dawn of recorded history, witnessing the birth of life itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong back in 1978. Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced an accident that would forever change his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pino, Russia, a failure caused a proton beam to strike him directly. The beam, with a force beyond comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head, and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was harrowing. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but had no immediate concern. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning tissue and bone. However, 
He remained conscious and even walked to the medical center for treatment. The result was both disturbing and remarkable. The beam caused limited tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Remarkably, Borsky's cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident serves as a reminder of the immense power and potential risks associated with particle accelerators. The dangers of a particle smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. The potential for catastrophic reactions, the very fabric of existence being altered, these are not the stuff of science fiction, but real concerns voiced by respected scientists. One of the most unsettling and captivating concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars and mysterious substances lurking in the shadows of our universe. The fact that the LHC could potentially create such a phenomenon, even on a small scale, is both awe-inspiring and alarming to the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole eventually spiral out of control, consuming the Earth from the inside? Scientists at CERN have reassured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and would disappear quickly. However, the slim possibility has sparked debates, fears, and a sense of wonder at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It all comes down to the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy generated is so immense that it warps the very fabric of space-time. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The material bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a well so deep that anything nearby could be pulled into it. This is a metaphor for what could happen at the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both strange and wondrous, there is a theory that extra dimensions may exist within our reality. If these dimensions do exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. This curious dance of particles has even caught the attention of some esteemed scientists, especially the late. Especially the late Stephen Hawking, who once speculated about the possibility of creating microscopic black holes at the LHC. While his theory was grounded in scientific curiosity, he acknowledged that the creation of such phenomena could provide insights into the fundamental nature of gravity and the universe. However, Hawking also noted that even a small black hole could carry enormous risks. The potential for it to evaporate, releasing vast amounts of energy, could have unforeseen consequences. These hypothetical scenarios serve as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of scientific exploration. As we push the boundaries of knowledge, we are confronted with the tension between exploration and caution. The LHC represents the pinnacle of human scientific ambition, but with that ambition comes a responsibility to carefully consider the consequences of our actions. Could we inadvertently trigger events beyond our control? Could we unlock forces of nature that we are not yet equipped to understand or contain? The questions are profound and unsettling. Despite these concerns, many scientists argue that the risks of the LHC are minimal and that the potential benefits far outweigh them. The LHC has already yielded extraordinary discoveries, such as the confirmation of the Higgs boson, which was a groundbreaking moment in physics. It is through such discoveries that we continue to deepen our understanding of the universe, from the smallest particles to the largest cosmic structures. In the end, the LHC embodies the spirit of human curiosity, our relentless quest to understand the mysteries of the cosmos. It is a testament to the power of science and technology, as well as to the inherent risks of venturing into the unknown. As long as we continue to question, to probe, and to seek, we will inevitably face new frontiers that challenge our understanding of the universe. Whether or not those frontiers bring danger, they will undoubtedly bring knowledge. Knowledge that has the potential to reshape our view of the world and our place within it. Yet, as we journey further into the unknown, we must do so with humility and caution. The road ahead is uncharted, 
and the LHC, with all its awe-inspiring power, may just be the first step in a much larger adventure, one that could change the very fabric of reality itself. As we look to the future, the question remains, what lies beyond the limits of human understanding, and are we truly prepared to face it? Stephen Selling, in his book, Caution of a Situation in Which the Higgs Boson Could Turn Temperamental at Extremely High Energy Levels. This precariousness could prompt a devastating occasion known as vacuum decay, an event that wouldn't simply annihilate Earth, but might actually annihilate the whole universe. The prestigious English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future opportunities for humanity, he investigated the potential risks of particle smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words weren't simply careful. They were filled with a sense of existential fear. He analyzed a worst-case scenario in which a failed experiment could set off a stage transition that would wave through the fabric of space-time, resulting in a disaster that would overwhelm the entire universe. Rees' concerns were not limited to theoretical insights. He assigned a low probability to these disastrous outcomes. All things considered, he contended that even a small chance warrants serious consideration. A lot is on the line, and the margin for error is razor thin. The researchers at CERN have run simulations, analyzed theories, and taken every precaution to ensure the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself stressed the importance of these measures, acknowledging the unavoidable concerns and questions surrounding the LHC's activities. He reassured the public that there are thorough safety protocols in place, careful reviews, and procedures to ensure the LHC's operations are executed with the utmost attention to detail. Cox comforted the public, stating that the energies involved are well within what the Earth normally encounters and that the chances of creating a stable black hole are cosmically low. Even if one were created, researchers say it would be so small and unstable that it would decay quickly in a burst of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Selling known as Selling Radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of enormous marvel, just a brief glimpse into the deep darkness, and then gone. Some have taken the idea even further, estimating that the LHC's experiments could open a door to another universe or dimension. While this idea is generally dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captivated the imagination of many and become a subject of interest, fear, or even fantasy. What lies beyond our universe? Could we inadvertently release forces or entities that we don't understand? The possibility of opening a doorway to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, fanning the flames of uncertainty. But how did this idea come about, and what does it mean in terms of scientific inquiry? The possibility of additional dimensions isn't new in physics. String theory, a leading contender for a unified theory of everything, proposes that there might be more than the usual three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could, in principle, be accessed or revealed under extreme circumstances. Now, imagine the LHC as a giant key, unlocking doors that have been locked since the beginning of recorded history. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples or waves that probe these hidden dimensions. If these dimensions exist, the LHC could indeed uncover them. However, before we get too excited with wild speculation, it's important to remember that while the LHC is certainly powerful, there is no definitive proof to suggest that it will open a gateway to another universe, let alone to hell itself. Still, the allure of the unknown, combined with the mysterious nature of quantum physics, ensures that such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So, should we be concerned about the LHC and its potential dangers? It's easy to be swept away by sensational headlines and fears of global catastrophe. But, in reality, the scientists at CERN are highly aware of the risks involved. They've taken every precaution to ensure their experiments are safe, and they continue to monitor and test their work with the highest level of diligence. The potential benefits of the research the breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, the study of dark matter, are truly remarkable. It's not just a display of human creativity, 
but a window into the very heart of the universe. Yet, like all great advancements in science, it comes with its share of risks, and we must approach it with a balance of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the frontier of scientific inquiry, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its true potential to answer fundamental questions about the universe, including the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is extraordinary. Yet, despite thorough safety measures and extensive simulations, the LHC still carries an air of mystery and fear for some. The sheer size of the machine and the energy it generates are awe-inspiring, and each new experiment opens the door to unknown scientific realms. While most scientists remain confident about the safety of LHC experiments, there are undeniable uncertainties. What if new, unforeseen anomalies emerge, challenging our understanding of physics and the laws of the universe? The LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and tests the limits of our control over the natural world, as particle collisions recreate conditions hidden since the Big Bang. The significance of these experiments grows, raising existential questions about the potential consequences of altering the very fabric of the universe. Nevertheless, the LHC's achievements in particle physics have been remarkable. It has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the standard model, and opened pathways to potential breakthroughs that could ultimately shape our technological future. Yet, the quest for knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its investigations delve into areas of physics where intuition no longer applies.